Now, the problem with sharing a story like that is that people have questioned the credibility of that story. They say, how is it possible you could remember a story like that with such detail after drinking so many shots? And honestly, I don't. But we recorded the show. So I know the story very well, you know. <laughs> she'll take off, whatever you take off. She'll take off, whatever you take off. She'll take off, whatever you take off. She'll take I know it very well. The question that I've always gotten over the years is, you know, are your stories real? You know, we hear these crazy stories, whether it's about me and Snoop Dogg or Martin or all these different adventures or my son Frankie. People have always questioned whether or not the, the stories are like legit, legit. And so in my last special, I addressed it. I was tired of people asking if my stories were real. So to prove a point, at the end of my last special that I did, I included a photo of every single one of the stories that I talked about so that people would know the stories are real. And tonight, <laughs> is no exception. So, did I really get naked on stage? Ryan, hit the button. I'm f***ing with you. You guys thought you were going to see 3D. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did that for me. I did that, I did that, I did that for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys were getting stressed. You're like, ah, cabrón, hide the... Los niños, los niños. Oh, my God. <laughs> the number one question I've got when it comes to my shows is, what is your writing process? My writing process is simple. I do not sit and write out jokes. I am really bad at that. Ask the Oscars. <laughs> I experience things and then I come out on stage and I share them and sometimes people laugh and if they laugh, that's cool, I keep that and whatever doesn't get a laugh, I work on until it gets, you know, ah ha ha. <laughs> 15 plus years ago, um, my friend Ivan, who is one of my, he's my number one uh, longest, uh, oldest employee, not old like he's like, hello, how are you? He's just, he's been around a long time. He's been there from day one. Ivan's original job was to record my shows using a camcorder. Now the fact that I'm saying camcorder should be an indication of the timeline. Because I know some of you right now are like, what's a camcorder? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was the Snapchat of our day. So Ivan would record the shows and then put away the camcorder and the tripod and a bunch of tapes into a bag. It was very bulky. It wasn't a phone, it was bulky. And then we'd go back to the hotel and then he'd break the little guard off the back of the TV and then you know he'd hook it up and we'd watch the thing. And that's how I would review my material. One night, we go to dinner. I even packed up the bag. We met, you know, we met in the hotel lobby and uh, I even forgot the camera bag in the hotel lobby and we went to dinner. And when we came back, it was gone. And we never recovered the tape. And I know some of you are like, how convenient. The tape of him getting naked is gone. And to you, I say, why would I even make up such a story that could potentially hurt my credibility or my image? I don't need five minutes of ha ha. What I need is there to not be a tape. I know that there's footage out there of me doing something really, really embarrassing and something I wish I could take back. And I know that when this Netflix special airs, a lot of people are gonna see it. And hopefully the person who has the footage is watching. <laughs> and I would like to tell that person right now, in your living room, I know you have the tape. I have $50,000 with your name on it. Come get paid. <laughs>